My dudes, my dudes. My dudes, I'm here tonight on the show. I'm here tonight on the show with some uh, news from the NFL. So I'm going to talk about some NFL news here. And then uh, after me, after this, I'll do uh, another quick episode of some NBA news. Um, I accidentally put the one I was supposed to do from a few days ago I wrote. And uh, I've done the ones I wrote today, so you know, for today, so. You know, after this, I'm probably just do a quick NBA news. Find some more that I already had for that day and just do another one. Just to do two for today. Let's talk about some NFL. Um, there's no chance that the Buccaneers trade for Jimmy Garoppolo, says Rick Stroud. I'm not sure why they trade for uh, Jimmy Garoppolo. I mean, I get probably here for after Tom Brady retires, but I mean. But, but, um, they had a young quarterback, I think, like, who, um, uh, Kyle Trask or something like that, so, I don't think they should trade for Jimmy G, and I don't see him trading for him, I mean, they probably wouldn't give up much, because he's not, but he's just not, he's a bottom 10 starter in the league, he's just not, he's just not that good, so, even if the Buccaneers were interested in trading for him, I wouldn't do it, because he's just not that good. Um, the Broncos reportedly, um, tailoring, they're pretty much going to make their offense around no quarterback, Russell Wilson. We know. Um, must have been just a, it's just a slow news, news for the slow news days for the NFL. When you got stuff like the Broncos are pretty much going to have their offense built around Russell Wilson, like of course they traded for him. They traded, um, Drew Locke and some... I think Shelby Harris or something. Their defensive tackle and a few first and a few picks. So I mean, I'd hope they have their, their offense built around Russell Wilson. And the Seahawks have discussed trading for 49ers QB Jimmy Garoppolo. I mean, anything's better than Drew Locke or Geno Smith at this point, ladies and gentlemen. So <laughs> I just don't know if I can see the Seahawks trading for uh, Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson, Jimmy Garoppolo, because. <laughs> It's a division rival, and Jimmy Garoppolo is not going to win you anything going for going forward. Just, it's not going to happen. But I mean, you'd have Geno Smith, Drew Locke, and Garoppolo. Just a three-way mid-off, because they're all just mid. I mean, I just don't think it's going to happen. I mean, he isn't he going to help you make the playoffs. Just go with Drew Locke, win a few games, and have high draft picks to upgrade your team through the draft for the future. But yeah. Um, free agent offensive tackle Dwayne Brown was arrested on a charge of possession of a concealed firearm. Another player arrested in this NFL offseason, ladies and gentlemen. These players must be must just be getting bored or something. It's always, it's just former Seattle players as well. Another former Seattle player. They're like the Seattle Raiders at this point. I know, I know he's not South now, but he's a free agent. So, um, what an insane offseason. A uh, Hans Field will be rain, renamed to... I don't even know how to say this. Ace, A, Ac, Acrisure Stadium? I don't know how to say this. And that's an L, ladies and gentlemen. This is a big L. Renamed Heinz Field to, however you say that, Stadium. Jesus Christ. This is an L. It's still Heinz Field in my book. It's still Heinz Field in, in my book. Sounds like sound, just a massive ale. What an awful name. I don't even know how you pronounce that either. These are name changes are ass. And Heinz Field is however the fuck you say this. Now you got Los Angeles changing to the Crypto.com Arena. I know the stadiums are named after sponsors, but God, they're so horrible. But yeah, that's all for the NFL, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so yeah. That's all I have to say for this uh, video, ladies and gentlemen. 
Um, till next time, I'm gonna like a light. I thank you for watching.